This one's not going to take a lot of time. So if you guys want to do that one, let's do it. Because this one is gonzo. So grab a new piece of paper. We have time for one more. I told you guys we're staying up past your bedtime. We're going for it tonight. I know it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Whew. You guys get mad when your parents tell you to go to bed early. I wish my mom would call right now and say you're supposed to be in bed so I could go to bed. I'd be so happy. Fossey, I know your parents try to send you to bed super early. All right, here we go. So let's go, uh, let's go landscape. And this first one's kind of hard to do, you guys. So what we're going to do is I don't even know what it looks like. You guys look at this picture. It kind of looks like a really bit no, doesn't look like a pumpkin. What do you guys think that looks like? What shape is that? I don't even know. A triangle wiggly. It is kind of like a wiggly triangle. It's kind of like if this triangle went to school, all the other triangles would be like, dude, what's going on over there? And they'd say, maybe you should be with the circles. And the circles would be like, nah, that's not really a circle. Maybe the squares. And the squares would be like, no, he doesn't have any sides. He can't be a square. So we got to figure out where this guy should go. It could be a tough one. Tough first day of school for this wiggly triangle. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make an oval there. That's one. Make them big enough that you can put letters in them. Two. Three. Four. So I don't know if it's just a coincidence that there's a pop print with four different, five different places and the words proud. That's kind of cool. All right, let's do this too. Let's put these little claws up here. That's just kind of fun. No, Fosse, it's not candy corn. These are actual claws, you can't eat them. Although it'd be fun if it was candy corn, then bobcats wouldn't have to eat mice, they would just bite their fingernails. You could, you could make them into candy corn. Catherine, if you don't stop coming up with all these great ideas, I'm gonna lose my marbles. I'm gonna do it. All right. So now here's the hard part about this one. The letters are gonna be hard to do, so why? Hey, you did it. Oh. Mr. What's up? What's up, William? Are you sure you unmuted? Are you gonna? Yeah. Are you trying to tell me more about field mice? What are we talking about here? Uh, you think about, I'm gonna do the first letter. So a P is gonna go right here. So let's start with the back line. That's very easy. Okay, but we're making block letters again. Now for the front of it, make a normal P, but stop before you get to the back. Don't, don't go through with the P. Okay, bring it down and put a letter D right inside. Now watch what happens. When you color this in, and you don't have to color it black, but it's the only color I have right now, okay? You're gonna go like this, and look how that stands out. Now at this point, you could use yellow, you could use red, you could do whatever you want it to do. Oh, color in the middle. So we have a cool little P right there. Now let's move to the R, and we're gonna do the same thing we did with the P, but we're gonna stop, okay? So this time, instead of finishing it, we're gonna do a diagonal line there and put a floor on each one of those lines and then just put kind of a little V right there. Okay, D inside. You want me to color it in or are you guys good? Color it in, all right. Okay, let's color that one in. And now we're gonna do the O. So if you don't know, O's are super easy. We do a circle with a circle. Now, if you don't know something at Bill Roberts we do, is called Proud Behavior. And it's an acronym and each one of these letters stand for something. And I should know it by heart because I've been there for eight years, but I don't, that's why I brought this back. 
So the P stands for prepared, which means you're always ready for class and always ready for school, and you're not arguing on the way out the door and you're cleaning your room and all that stuff. The R stands for respectful, which means you're very kind and polite to everybody and you look out for each other's feelings. The O stands for outstanding effort, which means you try all the time. Now we're getting to the U. So a U, remember what we do. You do a letter U, and inside that letter U, you do another letter U, and then just close it off. I'm gonna color that in too so Catherine doesn't yell at me. Okay. The U stands for United Community. And that's kind of good with this. Like, um, I should be saying Miss Cheryl does this. And when you unite your community, you do stuff all together. Uh, Lucy, that looks awesome. Lucy, did you already finish? Gosh darn it, Lucy. Uh, and the D stands for determined. So I'm going to put a D right there. And you know what? I used to get a lot of Ds on my report card. And I should have just told my mom that just means I was determined. Then I would have never been in trouble. That would have been amazing. Uh, why did you get all these D's on your report card? Oh, because I'm so determined. Yeah. What does the U stand for? It stands for United Community, which means we do stuff together and we look out for each other. Kind of like, like, think about this. When someone's being mean to your family, would you help, would you stand up for them and be nice to them? And would you tell someone to stop doing that? Yes or no? I'm going to assume that yes. you yeah, Of course you would. So when we say that we're United Community of Bill Roberts, and we see somebody being left out or having lunch by themselves, um, or someone's being mean to them, that means we stick up for that person or have them come have lunch with us. Um, and we just look out for each other, and that way nobody's sad. All right. Now, because Fosse and Ken and all you guys were being mean to me, you are not United Community. Foster, what's the top one? Is the top one white or yellow? How, how do the candy colors go? The candy colors go on, on top is white. Okay. In the middle is orange, and on the bottom is yellow. All right, so I kind of like this idea. I don't. I think if you do this for the contest, you might not win because it's not a Halloween contest. And as we've discussed, 98.7 people don't even like candy corn. That's an actual survey I just did in my own household. 99.9% .9 of the people surveyed do not like candy corn. And there's a 2% rate of being wrong. All right, so there's our proud community, but now we got to do a little something else. So now we could do fun run somewhere. And how should we do it? Someone pick a type of letter and you can do bubble letters, block letters, cursive letters. What do you guys want to do? Cursive. All right, so let's do cursive. Oh, I wish I had my calligraphy pen. All right, so watch this. That's a beautiful F. So that spells fun. This one for sure will not win because I can't even read my own handwriting right now. So if yours doesn't look like that, then you're probably ahead of the game. So you're doing good. And now, I don't even think this is, this is more calligraphy than cursive. Let's do cursive. Well, no, let's just keep it like this. There's my R. U, N. And that little N is holding up a heart. And I pretty much kind of just ruined this one with all those letters, but I think the candy corns, we're going to let it win anyway. 
So here's what we're going to do. Tomorrow, if you want to come back, we're going to redo this one because I think it turned out really well.